60% of the fighters that get knocked out, they're not knocked out, they quit. And then once they're down, they say, you know what? I don't want no more of this. They ain't getting back up. They could get up, but they ain't get back. They ain't got the heart and determination to get up. They don't want no more of this. Yeah. So that's what Walters did. A lot of guys, a lot of guys. Now, Walters didn't make no smoke. After, after, the, after Bruce Southern got hit the first time, the second time was easy for him to quit. Now, Bruce comes down and then comes up in the mic. Maybe he can be effective enough to hurt him, but not going backwards, not at this range. But Tyson is not bobbing and weaving and is not in that crouch that we were talking about. He's standing way outside. Look how he stands, straight up up there. Now that's not... Punch high on it was the a head, punch right high in the head, Freddie. You're exactly right. right hand. It was easy for him to quit because he didn't want no more. He was scared in the beginning. He didn't get hit the first yeah. shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm when you don't right get hit the first the shot, and I ain't gonna get hit with the sack with either. Look. See, look. Look at this. Yeah, he ain't touching. Yeah, he ain't touching. Yeah, he ain't touching. Yeah, he ain't touching. I'm talking about. If this guy got up, he got hit the shot. He got up. He walked around. Then all of a sudden, then he go. With about a minute 40 remaining in round one, Sheldon goes down for the first time. He had a nice long rest there, but he has felt. Back comes Sheldon, and Tyson with a left hook, and Sheldon is down on his stomach. I'm going to restop. I'll give you another example. You go to the tape. Remember when Tommy Hearns was fighting Sugar Ray Leonard, right? Yeah. When Hearn was going down the rope, the side of the rope, yeah. okay? Sugar threw an overhand right. It missed him. Nah, he didn't miss him. That's why I say, now, now we get to the truth. You say he missed him. He did not miss him. When he hit him, you didn't see, you didn't see Tommy Head do this here. It was the same kind of shot that hit that boy, that hit Bruce Seven. When he hit him, it grazed his chin. Big right hand. Hearn staggers along the ropes, let it after him. He's in all kinds of trouble again. Gil, how come the Hearns doesn't grab on to Leonard here? Tim, he's not trying to grab. He's never been in this position before. He doesn't know how to grab. He's always had the other guy in that position. Leonard now going to the head and down to the body, banging away at Hearns, who hasn't fired a punch back. There he tries a combination, got the left hand, another left, but Leonard staying right there, measuring his spots, pounding to the body, and a right to the head. And Davey Pearl steps in that it. A 14th round knockout victory for Sugar Ray Leonard. He yeah. exhausted. That's what he needs. Right. It don't take much. He ain't get hit. He ain't get hit. It's just exhausted. But Thomas Hearns would have been knocked out if Leonard would have hit that nigga clean. He'd have been knocked out. Because he was so tired, he just he was exhausted him and the punch grazed him. He went on down. Because they pulled him right back up. He was just tired. Now, Marvin Hagler hit that motherfucker. You see what happened. I'm he, he couldn't get up. Another right hand. Hearns turns his back, takes another right. Hearns in deep trouble again. Hearns is down. Hearns is down in the third round. You got to study all of this type of stuff. See, I done researched and studied all those type of punches and the nerves in the face and the nerves in the chin and all this type of thing. I know what they can do for him. It's just like they said, he didn't hit Sonny Liston. You won't fall? In martial arts, in martial arts, you dump this shot like this, like that, it can, you can get knocked out yeah, with that right there. Punch. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah. when Ali shot that right hand over the top of that butt, yeah. it was a swinging right hand. Bang! That's yeah, all yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Sonny Lewis ran into that. The whole big thing, of uh, Buster Douglas showed me a lot of things that had something to do with character breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of yeah, you know, you uh, character breakdown. Because yeah. my whole thing is that, how in the world you, as a black man, just like me, yeah. People laugh at you, talk about you, make fun of you, because this is what happens in the ghetto. Yeah. I say, then you, they, cause you don't make weight? You don't make the weight that they think you should make? Yeah. I'm like, he always fought around by 246 yeah, all the time. Yeah. And, and drop people with jabs. Exactly. This man started screaming and hollering, said, something wrong with the scale. I'm talking about, man, man this second was saying something wrong with scale. I knew I weighed 206. Man, I, I, get on, I get on the scale, they said 206. So I realized this, this guy lied, man. I'm just, it, just, it, just, it did something to me. One of the keys he talked about, talked about his corner, George Benton. There's a good right hand by Douglas, his first meeting of the punch. That time by holding Holyfield. Right hand stuns Douglas. Caught him going in. He is not going to get up. There goes the heavyweight championship.
matchup of the world. Bills Lane with the count. Holyfield has been in the Holyfield. heavyweight championship of the world. Evander Holyfield with a third round knockout puts away Buster Douglas. I knew all along that 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 uh uh, uh, that, that Buster Douglas showed his hand. Yeah, when he fought your boy. He, he, no, but he showed his hand before the, the Holyfield fight. He fell for all that conversation. I heard Steve Wynn say, Holyfield, I'm not Holyfield, but uh, that uh, Douglas was on the, laying up on the hood of his car like this. And Steve Wynn they was saying, oh, ain't it so beautiful? He's so relaxed. He's this. When I saw that interview, I looked at that. I said, you know what? This fight's over with already. This guy ain't going to fight. This guy's in the fantasy world. He, he, he ain't going to do nothing. Somebody and exactly what happened. For you as a man, for you as a heavyweight champion of the world, you worry about pleasing somebody else. Exactly. You let somebody else determine, determine what you think. Mm -hmm. It don't make no difference. I think when I was sick, I felt that I could still beat you. I just, it don't make no difference. They say, because everybody says, how in the world you go through the fight and you were sick and all that stuff? I said, look. I said, I ain't never went in a fight, I ain't, I ain't feel sick. Exactly. I just, I said, look, something was wrong, I ain't retired. I said, I won. I said, so, I said, so the whole big thing is, I said, you know what, the worst fight I ever had when I went in a fight when everything was feeling good, and I was getting the daylight. I what in the world? I'm like, it's the fact that the matter is that, you know what, I said, when when your when your body your body your body, when your nerves up you fight better. Trocky telling Tyson he's fine, but that may be wishful right. thinking. But before the bell for round three, right, Tyson comes out fast but forgot his mouthpiece. He's anxious to get this on. I think he's blown the first two rounds, and uh, he better get started. Round two very bad for Tyson with that bad cut, pushed away by Holyfield. Again showing his strength. A sense of urgency here by, by Tyson. And that's the old Tyson we know. The that's Tiger. the Mike Tyson that came. That's the Mike Tyson that needed to come. We we know that Holyfield is a fantastic, one of the greatest headbutters of all times. Oh, come on, okay. man. Of all times. Now, we was concerned. We was concerned about Holyfield headbutting Mike. The first time we said, well, you headbutted now, you get to watch the second fight, okay? When the second fight started, the head button occurred. Boom. Mike complained to Mills Lane. Mills Lane looked at Mike and told Mike to go ahead on and fight. So at that point, Mike decided, you know what? You bite, I mean you butt, I bite, and let's keep fighting. That's the jab Mike didn't have in the first fight. I said, Mike, that ain't, that ain't the way it go. Now, Holyfield has enlightened me on this head button thing. He told us, he's sitting here talking once, he say, my head butts are not intentionally. It's just I beat you to a certain spot. As you collide, I get to the spot first. And automatically, if I get there first, you coming, boom, the head's going to collide. And he said it wasn't intentionally. His head butts is not intentionally that... He beat you to the spots first. He's got to get room. Let that right hand go. Riddick Bowe is trying to finish the heavyweight champion of the world. And he's got all the time to get it done. He should give himself some room. There you go. Straight right hands. Dig the body. There you go. Wow. What an explosion. How is Holyfield standing up? Now Holyfield has to be hurt. Now he's mounting an attack. <laughs> Evander Holyfield with an uppercut of his own. Now that's unbelievable that he could come back like this. Evander Holyfield on the attack. He landed a good low and a Missing. big looping right hand from the champ. Oh, and all of a sudden Holyfield looks fresh. He lands a straight right hand and a good left hook. He's up on his toes. How is this the same Unbelievable. Round? Landing good shots, very good shots. Good uppercut from Holy. Left hook, right Unbelievable. hand. What a round. What a round. I'm beating him. I beat him to the same now, spot. But he uh, beat you to the spot first. That's what he said. Yeah, but. You did, but I just came out and did You know what you did? So for, you, for me to hit, but you, I have to jump yeah. up. Right. I come in there like this, 
You you see me coming in, you tried to break it, up, and you put No, you did up. that. You your head came on mine. Oh, no lying rascal. We got it on here. We got it on here. We got it on here, bro.